Hey cats, Ed Turbo Bud here. Finally time to dive into the generous midsole on offer in the ASICS Metaspeed Sky. Initial review on this one today for you, and it's a beauty. Let's get to it. Thanks for joining us here on the channel guys, it's always appreciated. If you've yet to do so, please consider helping the channel out by clicking that subscribe button, but also the bell below for notifications of when we roll out those new videos for you. And it really does help us out here at Edbud Running Shoe Reviews. You give this video a thumbs up like, but also share it with your running buddies. Merci beaucoup. Today we take a look at a shoe that has been sent over to me by ASICS for review. They're not paying me to make this video though, and you know I never mince my words. Retail cost on this one is a wallet crushing 225 earth credits here in the UK. This is a UK 10 and a half, which translates to a US 11 and a half, comes in at 228 grams or 8.1 ounces. So certainly one of the more pricey shoes for moving quickly across land, only trumped really by the Alpha Fly, I suppose, and occasional colorways of the Vaporfly Next Percent 2. <laughs> Calamine lotion. We will start as always with the upper first. So if we remember back to the initial launch of the Adidas Ultra Boost many years ago, that was a really beautiful looking shoe. I've got to be honest, one of the most beautiful shoes out there. Just in terms of the profile, the colorway, everything about it, it is absolute dynamite. It's just such a striking colorway, this one. I think it's sunrise red and white. Really wasn't too sure about it just looking at pictures, but getting it in hand, it is absolutely magnificent. Perhaps in the same way as the Vaporfly 4% Flyknit was really striking, just stood out. The shoe in a 10.5 UK is somewhat snug, I wouldn't say uncomfortable a very thin mesh here around the foot with some reinforcements around the front of the toe box and in the heel they've used the rubbery reinforcements there as an alternative to a traditional heel counter the laces are almost a waxy affair sort of like madame two swords or something which are spot on in terms of length when using a runner's knot but i found them ridiculously long if you're just tying a standard bow quite a lot of viewers have commented they haven't need to use a runner's knot here i've used both and lockdown was good either time so if it's a big problem just cut 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 them down no rubbing slipping or hot spots on my initial runs totaling 15.2 miles or 24.5 kilometers can't quite believe i've ran that far on this shoe already a huge range of paces here anything from my 5k pace which is about six minutes 20 seconds per mile around about four minutes per kilometer right through to about eight minutes 30 per mile so really easy pace for me no tongue slip here in the meta speed sky though i would suggest it's only just long enough to cover up where you tie the laces and where that pressure is around the top of the foot there some people might find it's just a little bit too minimal the tongue's just super thin as well there's no padding there whatsoever very much a minimal upper by all accounts but it just melts away once you get up to speed getting a good lockdown was super easy barely an inconvenience as such there's only one thing that stops this from being a perfect score on the upper just wish they'd maybe extended out that tongue a little bit more or perhaps included some padding up around the ankle i'll give this a 2.9 out of 3 for the upper after my initial runs midsole now midsole oh boy oh boy the flight foam turbo here really does give the zoom x and the under armor flow material a run for its money some really nice rebound here in the meta speed sky lots of return and a vastly more stable ride than you will find in the next percent over a range of speeds zoom x foam is super squashy this isn't the same but it's very forgiving i felt the shoe was always doing what i wanted it to do regardless of the pace that i was running at that can not be said about all super shoes some of them are just unusable really at slow pace not the meta speed sky it's almost like the midsole shifts around to accommodate the speed you're running at really really interesting very usable this shoe and as such very versatile across a range of different sessions i can see it being an absolute winner for interval sessions or repeats where you've got some sections in between where you need to bring down the pace and it's also really forgiving for longer efforts or even some easy saunters the plate here as per usual becomes more present when you pick up the pace certainly when you're striking in the midfoot to forefoot area but seems positioned also to stabilize the ride if you're meeting the floor with your heel a quite staggering ride this one with some real gusto control 
and it's just generally enjoyable. The flight foam turbo material used here in the Metaspeed Sky isn't anywhere near as dense, I suppose, as Power Run PB that we find in the Socony and Dorfin series. Closer to a mixture of Fuel Cell, perhaps, Nitro Elite, and Zoom X. If you kind of boiled them up in a big cauldron, this is what you get. Being a bit silly, of course, but that's kind of what it feels like. Again, the midsole just melts away after a few kilometers. And I really enjoyed that quite wide midfoot landing platform. It's made it one of the most enjoyable super shoes to run in that I've tried out this year. And I've tried out almost all of them. So across every pace, it just felt really great. I'm not sure what else there is to say. I'll give it a three out of three for midsole after my initial runs. Outsole now. Outsole wise, it's a ping pong paddle of rubbery enjoyment. You can see that very malleable rubber applied to the midfoot and forefoot area, and there's a small swathe of it in the heel. Really malleable, this stuff, and highly grippy. Exceptional traction, in fact, on my initial miles. The weather here has been quite wet, so the concrete's quite slippery in places. Loads and loads of leaves everywhere, tattooing the floor, in fact. It's making my regular routes rather slick right now and there's numerous squashy hazards just about everywhere and i've not felt like slipping or sliding even once in the metaspeed sky the rubber itself here seems quite tacky almost to the touch and it does remind me of some of the materials used on some of the adidas and puma shoes that i've tested out this year vastly superior to the outsole that we find on the endorphin pro and also the endorphin speed and it kicks the rc elite 2 into touch as well certainly on par in terms of traction and grip with the adios pro 2 and the puma deviate nitro elite also i would suggest that the holes in the rubber section here do allow a lot of grit and mud in there so you'll need to brush it out after each use and already a couple of stones and thorns and various bits of debris have managed to puncture some of that exposed midsole foam. As such, I'll reduce it just by a couple of points there to a 2.8 out of 3 for the outsole after my initial runs. Value now. So the only real Achilles heel of the A6 Metaspeed Sky is that retail price. Certainly over here in the UK at 225 Earth credits, this here is a very pricey option, especially when you consider that the awesome Puma Deviate Nitro Elite comes in at about 45 to 50 pounds cheaper. That's if you can actually find a pair. I have noticed recently that sportshoes.com have discounted the RC Elite 2 from New Balance to 165 pounds as well. So that puts this one right up there. I have noticed a bit of wear in the exposed midsole sections of the shoe. And as I mentioned a moment ago, debris has already become lodged in the heel section there. Gonna need my tweezers to get that out. So do be wary if you're running on loose material like gravel or stones. In fact, I'd just avoid it. Be warned, my valued viewers. Road or pavement not lined by trees or branches would be my select surface. Though it's important to remember that this shoe is designed with road or concrete running in mind, I would assume. It's what it's designed for. It's just sad that I live in the countryside. In terms of value, a cracking shoe for its performance and looks. Certainly top three for me, but that does come at a price. I'll give this one a 2.6 out of 3 for value after my initial runs. Already showing a bit of wear. And at that price, yeah, it's going to hurt you in the wallet. Everything you want in a race and pace shoe here, but at a cost. So if I've totaled the scores up correctly there, that gives us 11.3 out of 12 after my initial runs for the A6 Metaspeed Sky. You pick this one up guys it's been a while for me to review this one but i'm really glad i managed to get a pair in hand thanks ray six for sending them over to me just wished i'd got hold of them earlier i really really like them i will utilize these for the a6 world Ekaden event that i'm taking part in with a bunch of other shoe cheapers this week been getting some practice in on my 1k repeats today in fact i'm pretty tired several weeks off from running taking its toll really and Certainly paces that were achievable a few weeks back are a little bit harder now. Let me know your thoughts on the A6 Metaspeed Sky down in the comments. Musical interlude time. Now this one completely crept up on me. I hadn't been aware that it had been released. It just sort of popped up there on Apple Music. I'm glad it did. Things Take Time, Take Time by Courtney Barnett. This one was released without any real fanfare. It sounds a little bit like it's an album that Courtney Barnett has made 
through the lockdown period. Certainly lots of drum machine beats here which form the structure and the skeleton of the songs. So really nice weird wavy guitars on the track Turning Green and I really like Take It Day by Day as well. Very angular kind of sounds, very simple. Really like the fact that you can hear her voice nice and clearly this time round few other albums it's been buried in the mix but this time around the lyrics are at the forefront of the tracks i really love the vibes on write a list of things to look forward to almost like a birdsy kind of sound to it sounds like some 12 string compressed electric guitar in there and it's nice and airy as well so quite a mixture on here enough tracks for me to recommend you check it out absolutely brand new it's literally dropped a few days back things take time take time by courtney barnett Thanks for sticking with me to the end of today's video, guys. Always appreciated. Sorry there's no running footage today. I'm sure you can understand that I was trying to go at a fair pace and I've only really got one arm that kind of operates with any degree of accuracy at the moment and I need that one to propel me along. So there will be some more running footage soon once my right arm's back in action. If you haven't done so already, help the channel out by hitting that subscribe button but also clicking the bell below for notifications when we launch those new videos for you. And it really helps the channel out too to grow and to spread if you give this video a thumbs up like but also share it with your running buddies my name's ed bud and i'll be seeing you